So I told Alex to throw the jug out, and she threw it. <laughs> she about smacked it off the side of the wall. But <laughs> Thought I was gonna hit the rocks. Did good. All right, Alex does not know anything, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of explaining today. But if she needs help, I'm gonna help her. All right, so old school. Right here is what we call a limb line. It's just one hook. That little floater there is our identifier, and it just kind of shows you where it is. Okay. But what you're gonna do is just kind of grab that and pull it up and see if there's a fish. Okay. Now most of the time, just by feel, you can tell, but this first one will pull it all the way up, just so you can see what it looks like. I don't think there's a fish, but it could. You should be able to tell, so just go ahead and pull it up no. and just dangle it. Now that's, that's a baited up, just throw it back out. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so it's baited up. That right there is what we bait it for to try to catch catfish. So there are five of those. Some of them may have fish, some not. And we're also going to do a trot line, which is a little different, but we'll get to that when we get to it. So here on Hook, Line, and Chill, we, we play a lot of games and we got a lot of little things that we do. Uh, if I don't catch a fish today, then you have to bore a bucket of water over my head, okay? So that's the punishment. So okay. I gotta try really hard. I, I'm pretty sure we'll catch a fish, but it is possible. The fish water, right? Any, <laughs> river, river water, any, any water really, a bucket. We don't even have the real bucket here. We'll have to do it back at the dock. It hasn't happened yet. And, uh, but there is something in the description called the scroll. It has a pretty much a rundown of everything that we do. So if you want to look at all of our games and all of our rules, just check that out. It's on one page. No. So from now on, you don't need to pull it all the way up. Okay. If it's not heavier than that, then there's no fish. That way there's less chance of uh, getting tangled and stuff. Okay. But if there's a little more weight on it, then it may be a fish, could be a stick, who knows. So Alex Blaze, where are you from? Um, I'm from originally Columbus, Ohio, but I basically grew up in Owensboro. Owensboro, Kentucky. And you live in? Uh, now I live in Evansville, Indiana, for Ooh. now. <laughs> so you're from Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana at this point. Yeah, cool. a whole lot of places. You like Indiana, like Evansville? Uh, I like it more than Owensboro. Oh yeah? <laughs> I kind of feel like Evansville's like stuck in the twilight zone though. It's always gray. Always gray, yeah. I was telling her about the colors before we took off. I don't, well, maybe? I don't know. No. Nah. Yeah. Colors on the river, I feel like are kind of woodsy and they remind me of a horror movie, but. She's into Halloween. She's into dressing up. She said she almost did a cos cosplay, which I would have told her, of course, do it. And this is what we do on Hook, Line, and Chill. Just uh, the spectacle. Uh, this person right here, look at this person. Does she look like she goes trot line? And does she look like she belongs on the river? No, and that's what I want. That is exactly what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I never well, even heard of a trot line until yeah, today. Yeah, well, let's be honest. A lot of people have it. <laughs> it's, it's kind of an older, older style. No poles. It's all physics. Basically, a line. You got to set it just right and bait it just right. But if you do it right, you can catch fish. Sometimes big fish. But today we're going for any fish. So hopefully we catch something. And if it's big enough, then uh, we'll play some more games. Oh yeah. And if the video is good enough, or you get a big enough fish, you may be uh, eligible for a December prize. Thousand dollars for the longest gar, which if you've never seen a gar, it will be an experience. But she said she raised tarantulas. I think she'll be okay. <laughs> um, biggest fish of the year. Oh, well, there's a dead fish. <laughs> that is a fish. It's got to be caught. <laughs> it's got to be lefty. Biggest fish, three thousand dollars. And then of course, best no net and best net, $500 each. Those are just one instance. And then uh, best video of the year is a long drawn out vote by several different layers of people, and $5,000. December, we got a long way to go. I think this is episode 15. There's, there's about 17 of those hooks on this line and they're all baited. Some of them uh, were baited with live bait, some with cut bait. And what the idea is, uh, hopefully we caught a fish or two. <laughs> and if you catch one or you get one, you could get if you can get him in the boat, then every fish is five dollars to charity. We add that up and donate it in December. 
Big, awesome. big fish, we'll play games. And then we also are fishing for food for certain people. Fourth of July is coming up. <laughs> so you feeling? Uh, something's tugging. Okay, now if he's huge, just be slow about it. You've been fishing before? Oh yeah, I used to, I've been fishing a bunch of times. Oh, here we go. All right, so it's, a, it's not a huge one, but it, all right, put it back down just a little bit. There's a net behind you, or you could just kind of get him close and then flip him up in, whichever, whichever one you want. Just don't get Finn. Try not to get him on your legs, but. Okay, well then let me see the net. Well, I Just think flip it in, just do it. He's not very big. Don't let go of the line. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a little flatty. That's called a flathead. That's a beautiful fish too. That's uh, what we're looking for for food. So that's a, uh, now those get 100 pounds in this river. Really? Yeah. In this river? Yeah. Wow. Well, now the game that we play is if you think the fish is 10 pounds or more, we'll play a game. I'm gonna tell you that's not. I was about to say, there's no way. <laughs> but we'll say, just to gauge it, that's probably five pounds. So if we catch one and you think it's 10 pounds or more, there's a game we play. So it's called Fish of Fortune. Okay. And now that the skunk's out of the boat, I can rest easy. <laughs> Alex Blaze up here, she's a professional. It's probably better to sit on the other side of the boat. That way you can pass off easier. Now if you I catch... was kind of thinking, I was like, damn, this is dragon. Yeah. Now, if you catch fish, then you rotate to the other side. Well, some people don't. Some people still leave it on that side. It's up to, after a while, you develop your own strategies. But it's my responsibility as a, the captain of this ship <laughs> to at least give you some pointers. You're doing good, though. Although, when she told me she raised tarantulas, I was like, you should be okay. Because uh, there are some people that are terrified of even the tiniest spiders inside of this boat which is why the boat smells like bug spray. Because <laughs> yeah. I always drench it. <laughs> I, I can't really, oh, there's another tug. I can't really think of anything I'm super scared of besides moths. I don't really fuck with moths. moths. Yeah, that's like a flying spider to me, but like even a butterfly. <laughs> yeah, there's a fish. A lot of times you could tell just by the power of it. And I can tell by how quick it moves. It doesn't look very big. He's. He's got, now let's practice the net just in case we need ah! to get back up a little bit. There you go. Once you lay him down a little bit, he can, he, they don't have much fight in them. So your net's always right here within reach, usually. So grab it mid, mid, and then, but, but don't, don't, don't have the net until you get right up on it. Okay. What, You're good. Define right up on it. This? Yeah, a little bit closer. Okay. Like a little bit closer. Put your arm where that knot is. Hold on. There you go. Right there. Now just scoop him. And the idea of the net is uh, a lot of times if you give them too much leverage, they could rip that hook right out. And I feel like this one's at least 10 pounds. <laughs> She's going to play, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Alex Blaze has caught a fish, and she thinks it's 10 pounds. Here on Hook, Line, and Chill, we play a game called Fish of Fortune. And if the point person can guess the exact weight of the fish, they will win $500. Now, if she's within five pounds underneath the weight of the fish, she wins $50. But it has to be 10 pounds or more to qualify. But if she goes over even one pound, she busts and wins nothing. So what's your guess? Well, now I'm nervous. Okay. I want to say that he's like 12 pounds. 12 pounds. pounds. So Maybe, I'm just going to say 11 to be safe. She's going to say 11. <laughs> Put it on this scale. The whole fish or just the bucket? The bucket. Okay. Oh, shoot. Eight pounds. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> That's a strike. She gets three strikes. If you do three strikes in the video and you win any money, you lose it all in the game end. So there's strike one. No big deal. I mean, now you know. That's eight pounds. All right. So her Instagram is great. Value Fairy, right? Yep. The Great Value Fairy. I've checked her out. She does a lot of artistic uh, dances and uh, she does uh, fire spinning. Uh, aerial, I can't pronounce the word. <laughs> Aerial. Aerialist? Yeah. What is that? What is that? Um, so I do a lot of stunts in the air, a lot of dancing in the air, like on. Um, How long have you been doing that? Three years. Well, get... I just got into silks, but I've been doing the Lyra for three years. 
silks and what which the other one lira or um sometimes people call it an aerial hoop oh the hoop thing oh i think i've seen that did you have training or did you nope or, i am super self-taught self-taught just pick it up i think you can see all the way to the end yeah and then there's no more just drop it line here and another limb line right there and then a trot line so great value ferry what made you choose that name um i noticed a lot of your uh, photos you had the ears you're going for the fairy thing or is yeah that um i've always been super into fantasy stuff but i also grew up super poor and having to like diy everything like if i didn't make it myself i didn't have it so great value fairy it's awesome. I love it. <laughs> there is a fish on this. There is? Yeah. You can tell. How can you tell? If you look kind of closely, uh, the whole tree's moving above. And the bait isn't strong enough to do that. Now, I wish it was pulling harder. I was, that's why I was giving it plenty of time. So you're the entertainer of the exotic. Is that what you put on your Instagram? Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> And I mean, I do a lot of um, professional work. Like I work a, a biker rally. I'm actually doing that next week. You're into bikes? Toss it in. No net. Oh, shoot. That right there is That's all. That's tiny. <laughs> yeah, a small fish. That's a channel cat. That was a no net moment. If you pulled some of your like acrobatic stuff while you did it. That, I think a backflip. <laughs> if you do a backflip while you're doing it, that could put you in contention. The fish in the boat, me out the boat. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to have to save you. <laughs> I actually grew up really, really country. Um, I had We had like a little farm in Calhoun for a little bit. Calhoun? Yeah, McLean County. Yeah. That's the Green River goes through there. So you've been on the Green River before maybe? Um... I don't know where my papa used to take us fishing. I know, oh, I remember going to Yellow Creek once. But that's like tiny fish. But you caught three fish. That's not bad. It's something. It's not a. Oh, here's something. I think. Something? Could be a sinker. Yeah. There's five sinkers on every line. They're little yellow bricks. There's a whole other story to do with that. This boat's name is Dorothy, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Came from Kansas. But we're not in Kansas anymore. We're in Kentucky. What's your, uh, what's your favorite color? I noticed you got a lot of colors. I don't have a favorite color, actually. Um, I have least favorite colors. What's your least favorite color? Orange. Orange? I hate orange and yellow. Is that like colors to look at or just wear? Just to look at, I think they're ugly colors. <laughs> Where are you? Cause something's Oh, there's a bubble, hold on, slow her down. Anytime you see bubbles, it could be something big, may not be. Sneak up on him though. I can't, if he's not pulling real hard, then it may not be. See those bubbles? That means he's decompressing. Uh, oh, it's not too big, no. It's a flatty, it's a decent size, I think. Yeah, it's decent. He's not huge. Now again, you could pull that hook out if you try to throw him in no net, but he probably will be okay. Or you can net him. Oh, I'm really scared. <laughs> I don't want to rip the hook out because I might throw up. <laughs> yeah, don't throw up. She's okay with tarantulas, but not. I draw the line of vomit. <laughs> Boom, right there. It's a decent fish. You think it's 10 pounds? I don't know, because he's chubby, but this net's heavy. <laughs> he's a little fat. I don't think so, because I think he's smaller than the other one. You're probably right. He's probably about eight pounds, just like 
just like the other one. Yeah. yeah. That's a good guess. I don't know if there's anything more on here. Uh, what's your uh, favorite quote? My favorite quote? What is a quote that you like? No rain, no flowers. No rain. Literally have it tattooed on me. Where at? On the back of my legs. No rain. Hold on, turn a little bit more. I can't quite tell. No rain, no flowers. That's awesome. Hold on, let me. I might use that for the thumbnail. Let's see here. <laughs> turn just a little <laughs> more. Turn this just way. a little more. A little less. Right there. No rain, no flowers. I kind of <laughs> like that. You know, I've been saying that all along. Is uh, you got to go through the hard times for the good times. No rain, no rainbows either. Everything comes with some hardship. Didn't even get the bait. All right, guys, this is Michael. This is Hook, Line, and Chill. I'm with Alex Blaze. Check her out. <laughs> Great Value Fairy on Instagram. She got a lot more links. Appreciate you coming. You can come again anytime.